Hey, this is Christopher Covert, Licensed Associate Real Estate Broker with Saunders & Associates in Bridgehampton with this week's uh, weekly market report out here in the Hamptons. Over the last week, 25 deals have gone into contract. Uh, the big one, of course, we talked about this last week uh, over at Six Old Town um, at 35 million. That's just come across the boards now. Uh, beyond that, we have two deals uh, between five and eight million. Uh, two deals were between three and five million. Uh, one of those was the penthouse at Watch Case in Sac Harbor. And then the other 20 were under three million, including another one at Gurney's, uh, which continues to sell through. Um, on the deals that have closed, Looks like there are about 35 deals have closed here in the last week and a half, two weeks. Um, big one in Montauk, uh, 230 and 234 old Montauk Highway. That finally has closed. That deal was at 18,144,000. Uh, oceanfront property, great modern, a uh, very unique property. Um, additionally, in uh, Bridgehampton, 70 Matthews Lane, which was the James Michael Howard deal, that uh, house design uh, and built, that has closed at 9575. 24 Fairfield Pond in Sagaponic Village, that's a four acre piece of land. Um, that has finally closed, that's 1125. Uh, that had been on the market for about two years, hovering anywhere between um, 12 and 15 million. So looking at this at 11,250, that's that's a pretty 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 uh, fair and reasonable deal there. Uh, be interesting to see what somebody's going to build. Um, jumping west of the canal, this is interesting, and I'm just bringing this up as a comparative market value. If you look, there was a property at 554 Dune Road in West Hampton, just shy of an acre, four bedroom home, uh, recently renovated in 2013. That traded at three million twenty-four. That's oceanfront. Three million twenty-four thousand five hundred. Just to give you an idea, very similar property on Flying Point Road um, in Watermill on the oceanfront. The same, just under an acre oceanfront, uh, four bedroom, about three thousand square feet plus minus. Traded uh, last quarter ten million. So east of the canal, west of the canal. If if you don't have to be east of the canal, you can still get tremendous value. Uh, in West Hampton, Quag, and we're seeing a lot of people do that. Um, but, you know, side note, again, one other closing of note. Um, another one in, at, at Gurney's, it's a point of view, closing at 2300 uh, My buddy Chris Coleman out there is killing it. And what's really interesting and a trend we're seeing, it's still continuing. Whether it's, it's Harbor's Edge, which the wines team have crushed uh, a, a, in, in Sag Harbor uh, or Gurney's, people love these luxury condo, luxury resort offerings. You get you, you get your full weekend. You're not sitting there worrying about the lawn. Um, it's making the, 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 the Hamptons experience really, really enjoyable for people. So we're seeing a lot of that. And these things are just selling out. Um, so it's really new the last three, four years. Uh, and that, that trend continues. So really interesting to look at. And, and these guys are just killing it. Um, the other thing, you know, we look at the market overall uh, right now, you know, fourth quarter was super slow. So if, if you look at all sectors, we have three to four years of inventory uh, in, in all categories. Um, so certainly I think right now at the base, the way the, the current sales rate, we're looking at a buyer's market. Um, the surplus of inventory, though, doesn't always mean that it's a surplus of desirable inventory. And I think we're starting to really see things pick up. Um, there was definitely a pent up demand. Uh, you know, everybody was sitting in fourth quarter, it was what did we say, off 17%. Uh, some numbers were coming in at 30% off year over 2017. So I think a lot of that's starting to open up. We're seeing really good properties go. Um, I mean, and, and even, 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 you know, again, we talked about it in the last couple of weeks, uh, the high end. Look at this right here. These three, East Hampton Village, one, two, three of them, right in a row, 19 million, 10 million, five, 9 million, 500, all closing uh, within a two week period in January. So the high end has really exploded, but we're now starting to see lower ends uh, catch up with that higher end uh, with deals in three to five, five to eight, all starting to happen in that mid luxury market, lower luxury market. And of course, the under $2 million, uh, that just continues to go. So, you know, how long this leverage for buyers holds? Um, you know, I'm not sure. I, I think we're really going to see things start equaling out. Some of that seasonal, but it, it definitely feels and uh, that the, the, the 
things are picking up and getting the same story from, from my colleagues. So uh, that's a quick look at this week's report. We'll be back next week. So thanks. Have a great week. Take care.